Good morning, happy day two. Today we are gonna talk a little bit more about how to build a platform on social media that encourages people to come to you as you share about Plexus. So just a little reminder that that as you share about Plexus part is key. You could be the most amazing person on the planet that everyone loves and everyone comes to and everyone wants to do what you're doing, but if you aren't sharing about Plexus in your real life and on social media, it's not going to translate to Plexus business growth, right? So we're gonna talk more about that part later this week. But for today, I want to talk about how to continue building that place of influence on your social media. So first of all, you want your, like we talked about yesterday, you want your social media to be you, right? To be the things that you want people to know about you, see about you, um, and the things that matter to you. So in that space, you want to be someone that adds value. Adding value and building trust are essential for creating that platform that people will then come to you when they are interested in Plexus. Um, it's almost like the cool kid in high school when they do something and then everybody wants to do it because the cool kid is doing it. It's not that we're setting ourselves up to be the cool kid. We're setting ourselves up to be the best version of who we are in a way that adds value to other people, that impacts other people so that they feel connected to us, they feel seen by what we are sharing and they feel like they relate to what we're sharing. So then in their mind, they're like, okay, if I've related to all these other things, then maybe what she's taking supplement wise, that's helping her anxiety, maybe it would help my anxiety. Or that's helping her with energy, maybe it would help me with energy. So that's kind of the thought process behind that. So my challenge for you today is to have a little soul searching moment and ask yourself, am I, so here are three things that are really essential in this process. Am I someone that is trustworthy? Am I someone that adds value? And am I someone that is positive? Because let's be real, when there are people in our life that are negative, that are gossiping all the time, that are a drain, we don't wanna spend time with those people, right? We don't want to be around those people. Even people we love, when they act that way, we're like, oh, right? We don't wanna be one of those people. We wanna be somebody that adds value, somebody that is trustworthy, and somebody that's positive and an encouragement in someone's life. So even if their only interaction with us is a small little space on social media, that's what we want when they think of us, when someone says our name, we want them to think of those things. You know, she's trustworthy, she adds value into my life, she's positive, she's encouraging, she makes me smile, like those types of things. So that's challenge number one for today is to ask yourself, how do I rate on that scale, okay? And then the second part is translating that into social media. So thinking about the things that we talked about yesterday, of things you're passionate about, things you love, things that you would say, if somebody was to think of me, this is what I would want them to think of me. Now, I want you to think of those topics. So for me, I'm gonna say being a mom, being in ministry, um, and health. We'll just take those three. That's not all of it, but we're gonna take those three. Um, what are ways that I can add value in that arena? So as a mom, how can I add value as a mom on social media? Um, it doesn't have to be earth shattering. You don't have to be like the next TED Talk speaker. It can be simple, it can be a lunch hack, it could be a dinner recipe, it could be um, sharing something fun that you did with one of your kids, it could be literally anything. Um, I know gardening is something that people love and enjoy. It could be sharing a picture of you in your garden. It could be something you've learned, a gardening tip, literally anything. It doesn't have to be like, Nobel Prize worthy, right? <laughs> Anything that adds value in the space that's important to you. So that's one way that you're adding value in a way that connects people to you, right? Are you trustworthy? When you say you're gonna do something, do you do it, right? So thinking along those things, when you're having a hard day, do you go, if you go to Lowe's and your customer service person is rude, do you go on social media and blow up about it? Or do you like deal with it and move on, right? So evaluating where you're at on your social media presence and are you lining up with those things? Are you being positive? Are you adding value? And are you trustworthy, right? The last thing I wanna say for today is adding value personally in real life and on social media. And again, it doesn't have to be like, the most incredible thing anyone's ever heard, right? You're just loving on people. That's a much better way for me to word it. Loving on people. When somebody posts something about any issue, right? 
being genuine and authentic when you connect with them, connecting with them in their comments, connecting with them on Messenger, replying to their stories. So social media is a place for you to be social. So if all you're doing is posting, whether it is valuable content, positive content, plexus content, if you don't have that interaction, then people aren't gonna see what you're actually posting. Social media works on what's called an algorithm. And the more you interact with people, the more you engage with people, the more they see what you are sharing and the more you see what they are sharing. So the second part of today's challenge is to engage with people on social media. Comment on their posts, message them. When somebody posts a story, one of my favorite, favorite ways to do this is by replying to people's stories. Number one, if they are posting in their stories, they're somewhat technologically savvy and anyone can do this business, but when they come in with a little bit of technological skill, it makes it a lot easier to train them, right? So when you, when someone's posting in their stories, reply to them. It goes directly to their messenger, so that's a personal one-on-one -on -one connection. It's something they're already talking about, so it's easy to connect, right? And it's a way to add value. And one thing that I want you to think about as you're doing this is your goal is not, how do I sign this person up for Plexus? Your goal is I'm connecting with them, I'm loving on them, and I'm adding value. If they never sign up for Plexus, that's okay, right? There are other things down the road that we'll talk about um, for reaching out to people, but regardless of whether you're reaching out or they are coming to you, you want to build that connection, build that relationship, and create a little corner on social media as it pertains to you that is positive, encouraging, uplifting, adding value, and establishes you as the go-to person. So when somebody's struggling or when they We'll go back to the garden analogy. When they have a garden thing, they think of you, they think of what you've shared, but also when they're exhausted, when they can't go to the bathroom, when they're struggling with a skin issue, they're like, oh yeah, Rachel was posting about that plexus stuff. So those are some tips on how to build and create a little corner of social media that is all of those things that cause people to want to come to you. So 